Hello, this is not a spring chicken. This is our <laughs> vlog for the last day of the International Consumer Electronics Show. You know, it's a good thing that, you know, when you get these things, it, this is the CES Daily, it tells you what day it is, and it tells me this is a good reference point. <laughs> because they ask me, they do an impression, what day is it? <laughs> well, you know, what happens is all the days run together. So it is the fourth day and the last day of the CES show. It's our day six as media covering the show and our day seven in Las oh, Vegas yeah, yeah. for the show. <laughs> Does that sound like... It gets complicated. <laughs> so, by the end of CES, it's like, you are burned out in Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Well, people are watching actually, the football All you, you want is your own bat. <laughs> now, the press are paying a lot of... They've got everything processing. and they're sitting down watching the playoff games on the NFL. So. That's right. Well, part of it is is we do manage to get other people com coming into the press room um, because we happen to have a TV set in there. Right? Yeah. There's a couple TV sets. Uh, lots of executives come in to watch the big screen TV. Uh huh. The heads of heads of uh, heads of the entertainment industry are sitting there, grumping about it. they missed that tackle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, so and, actually, so you see what happens on in the press room. So they had a good time in the press room, sitting there talking, and we're like. What we, well, because see, part of it is the press room is where we all go for our internet connection, power, lunch, snacks, well, meet everybody. Lots of stuff to drink. They have the interviews. Mm -hmm. So the press room is very, very important to any. Yeah, of the but we have better accommodations, and I understand they had over in the speakers area, which is what the speakers always come over. Oh, they do. No, no. Well, no coffee and stuff, and no big screen TV. But they let them through, you know, because everybody else are like, no, you can't come in as a speaker's room. I mean, well, the I know. press room. They, well, but they let, I guess they let the speakers. But you know, well, you yeah. never know who's going to show up. Because last time, who was it? One of. Oh God! One of the one of the big accounting the big accounting firms. Basically, one of the speakers, oh, he, he got mad at his Andy. name was on. You know what I mean? On everything, his name was on it. He basically there wasn't even hot water for tea, so he gave somebody five dollars and told him go out and get me some hot water. Mm -hmm. And he was not happy because there wasn't any hot water in the speaker's room. They, had, they didn't even remember they were coming in there to get little pieces to eat. Well, you know, it's like his name has been on that accounting firm for so long that I didn't think that they were still alive. Yeah, so they were. I didn't know there was somebody that existed with yeah. that name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway, well, you get an idea of who comes by the press room. But see, the last day of the show, we've checked out of our place, yeah. right, out of our condo, hotel, suite, whatever you want to call it, and we've checked out. The car is packed because we actually did drive to CES because we're setting up an office. We didn't fly over. Oh, God. We, we, actually, we got an SUV that is wall-to-wall -wall if, if we had to fly over, we'd really have to cut back on what we brought over yep. because we do set up our office and we wouldn't actually be able to get as much done. Unfortunately, L.A. is close enough to Las Vegas that, you know, you can still make the trek. Actually, you know, by the time you go through security, get to the airport early and do all of that stuff, it um, takes you a while because it's going to take you as long to get all of that stuff done as it takes for us to drive. Plus the fact we drive, we got to go play in the snow, which you wouldn't have got to do if you'd been on an airplane. Yeah, we got to play in the snow on the way over. So that one, that one was kind of full. So the last day is basically do everything you wanted to do, but you don't have, have enough to time do. to do. <laughs> right. Because so, it's a short day. So, so what happened was is um, okay. I was going to do processing and stuff. Um, However, we got the wrong cable when we were packing, so that didn't quite happen. Um, yeah. But we, we came over, we got to do some, the interviews that we didn't get to get done on the other days. Now, the bad part about the last day is, well, let's put it differently, is um, some of the PR people have already left because they think all the press people have left. Well, no, that's not the case. <laughs> press people. Yeah, the press, there's a lot there. of press people. So many press people, they ran out of food in the press room because they didn't think there were going to be that many left. But there are still some PR people that are around for people to talk to. Because a lot of times when you go to the booth, um, they only want the press people to talk to the, the PR people because then they direct them to the appropriate specialists that can answer the questions. Okay? Um, so part of that goes on. So, oh, so anyway, Gunnar, who we had seen at the monster party, right, told yep. us to stop by their booth. And we wanted to talk to them because Gunnar does 3D glasses and they do them in real 3D. And they do gaming glasses, which are really neat looking. So They're neat looking enough that they, to some of the people in front of us exchanged their 3D glasses for the gaming glasses. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh. 
So anyway, so um, we, we interviewed them, which we wanted to. Oakley was there with 3D glasses, um, but it was just a presentation. We really wanted to show you the Oakley line. We've been waiting for those glasses and haven't seen them. And then we also went out to the floor and did I did interviews, and Old Cam walked to the floor. See, he typically sees more of the show than I do because I go from appointment to appointment or go to specific booths where he visits in. What I see of the floor is what I see in between walking from location to location. No, but I, I, at the end of every trade show, if I can, I, if they allow it, I totally walk the convention centers, which mm -hmm. I did. I walked Upper and Lower South mm -hmm. Hall, Central Hall, outside, and North Hall because it, with a 360 camera in 3D. I know. Actually, that, see, that is really cool. And yes, it's posted 26 minutes of the entire show floor. You're what, like, how can you do it? Well, it does take longer than 26 well, minutes. Well, it took to longer than 26 minutes because I have to turn the camera off and turn it back on and mm -hmm. because it's a... Uh, you get into where there's large groups of people, and you got to stop, and you just yeah. move forward. So, but it's a 360. You can see, really you know, 400 foot either direction with the thing. And, and it was shot on the last day, so there's not as many people. We didn't. We weren't quite sure what um, the people would be. I mean, part of it is we guessed that there would be fewer people towards the end of the week because the hotel rates are higher. Yeah. I mean, not a little bit higher. Well, it's Friday and Saturday. Did they hit you high? I mean, rooms that you could have gotten for like $35 or $40 earlier in the week are now like $450. Yeah, which is why I heard exactly as watching the football game upstairs talking to people on the cell phone. I know they're gouging us for everything in the city, but the only reason we're here is that we can't get the hotel, we can't get the room space elsewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, they would leave Las Vegas in an instant if they could get that many rooms elsewhere, and they can't. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so, you know, they're there. Um, but part of it is, is there are a lot of people that come in. One of the things that they did is Old Cam, we had joined CEA's Tech Enthusiast, which yeah. they had, and Old Cam went to go get his Tech Enthusiast badge yeah. while he was walking the floor. I didn't have enough time to go over there. And, and they it. wouldn't give me, I had one of her cards, but they wouldn't give me a thing without a driver's license to show with it, so. Um. But we do remember we're tech enthusiasts. We're the only members of the press that were tech enthusiasts. They thought <laughs> well, that was unusual. Oh, I, did I, they? Yeah, they. You know, they said yeah. They said the CEA sent these things out to the press too. And it looked, and as far as I know, they said as far as they know, I was the only member. We're the only members of the press that actually joined up. Really? Yeah. And you were the only member of the press probably that went over there for a bit. Oh, yeah, I'm in the... I'm, I totally forgot because I'm focused on, okay, what interviews and who else yeah, do we need to talk to? I'm in a tech enthusiast room, which actually was better set up than the press room. They had more I goodies to eat. If I would have remembered, I would have gone over there first thing in the morning when we got over there. They actually had I, soda pop in there and ice. They did, it's good, <laughs> and I totally forgot about it. So what it was is CA sent it out, and so if you're a tech enthusiast, you paid to do that. You could go to the CES for the last day. Yeah. Right, and, and they, they had a party for the first 1,000 that... Yeah, and they that. had uh, special things, you know, for the people that came by, you know. Uh, actually, over to Tech Enthusiast area, they had all kinds of uh, gaming things set up and stuff. For, oh, that's cool. You know, like many things that were in the other halls. But the that's it was good, cool. though, from 9 o'clock in the morning till 4 oh, that evening. Oh, man, I really wish I would have gone over there. Yeah. Part of it was is it, it was only open on the last day, and on the last day, I'm, like, trying to hit... He's walking the floor and seeing everything, and I'm trying to hit the, all the people that I hadn't made appointments or I hadn't gotten to on appointments because one of the things on appointments is, this is what happens, you set them, um, they always get messed up. It doesn't make any difference because you're running late or they're running late or somebody's over or not over or, you know what I mean? It's just like there's a lot of people. It takes a lot longer to navigate than you would expect. Um, so I went to go see some of these companies I've been waiting to see. Um, oh, I did see, oh, uh, let's see, I go through. Um, you got to see yourself, Steinheiser. I saw Sennheiser, which and audio, which, you know, we always do an annual interview with Sennheiser. And Samson. Because they always um, have something new to bring out with audio. We'll also see them later this week at NAMM. I also saw Samson, which is Samson Zoom, who has our Zoom recorder, which is now the de facto standard. Yeah. For the industry for audio recording with the, the DSLRs. Yeah, we got it. We got a, We got their brand new version for people to see. With the, yes. it's going to have a, it's going to have its own little baby fuzzy, and hopefully, yes. we're what we're getting is what one of the people upstairs called the uh, idiot news anchors <laughs> um, uh, recorder with a camera in it because that's as the one guy described it. He's you know he, he described it in this way upstairs in the press room. It's for the reporter. 
who can't remember who it is he's interviewing. So he basically doesn't bother to ask him who they are. And there's a little... And he has a little camera, a little picture that he can record at the same time. And he goes in. He takes that back into the office. And he said, um, who is, who's that good-looking young man that I was talking to? Oh, that's Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, that's what the thing was designed for, is for stupid reporters. I'm going to have to tell them that because they're going to be at NAMS. That's what they said in the press room, you know, for stupid anchors that don't bother to ask who, who they're talking to. But they're always great when it comes to audio, and so they've got, you know, for audio recorders and microphones, and they're a pretty large company. Well, you know, the first time we ever met the people, they had a guy that had won two Academy Awards there talking to you us about what? the You know what, that was who sold it to us. Yeah. He did, because he, he's... Yeah, he won the Academy Awards. And he was using it to record his uh, music. He was a sound man. He was a music, you know, he's a musician, did sound, or did his own stuff. He used their units to record movie, music for his next movie, sitting there playing the stuff for me. And yeah, see, part of it is you always hear about these huge companies like Sony, Sam, Samsung, LG, right? Yeah. Toshiba. Well, that's typically what comes out. And we go to their press conferences and we get all the news and there's plenty of that out. But a lot of times it's these other... And actually, you know, these Samsung and Sunrise, they're large companies. Well, yeah, they're just, just not large like Sony. I know they're not large like <laughs> Sony because they work in uh, one area and expanding mm -hmm. that area where Sony... <laughs> we found out that Sony's a bigger company than what you thought. It's a company called Grace Notes. Yeah, upstairs, which is basically the guy. I, I'm shooting with the 360 bloggy, and the head of the organ the company comes over, and he basically does like everybody. I don't know why they crawl underneath the thing to look at it. <laughs> and he, he said, "Is that a 360?" And I, yes, we're going on and on. And he said, "You know, you know that we're a Sony. We're owned by Sony also, which I didn't know." And he's talking about. He said, "I can. I can't get Sony equipment." Mm -hmm. And I told him where he could get the Sony 360, which is you can only get it at Sony Style Stores, mm -hmm. period. I told him to wait for the new one because it's a software issue with the old one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've never been able to straighten that picture out, but we, that's why we do donuts, really. <laughs> There's a 360 in 3D off the Sony 360 bloggy. Yes, yeah, so you have to. You have to see that. And let's see who else we see. I dropped by Skull Candy. There people, are people I left. Oh, Audio Technica, yeah. who is also well known for sound. As you can tell, which area? Oh no, their sound, their earphones are really great because I put them on. I, I could, you know, I put them on in the in, in the uh, hallway, and you basically shut out almost all the noise of oh, everybody around you. And you're gonna get a review on every, on that one. There's noise canceling headphones, and he did tell me that unlike Bose headphones. And that's who they're, they're who they compared it to. He says, unlike both standards, is um, headphones is when your battery runs out, you can still hear. You just won't have the noise canceling. Well, oh, no, I didn't. I, I couldn't I had nothing to turn it on with. But I, I just used it. I put them over my head, and I canceled out almost all the noise. These are headphones, folks. They're not earbuds. There's a difference. Yeah. We're going to show people there's a difference between earbuds and headphones. And they're trying to claim earbuds are headphones. No, they're not. No, they're, they're very different. Um, and then other company, Marshawn 3D. Yeah. Um, I have, actually, I should show you the glasses. Uh, I, it, th well, that's going to come with another thing. You're going to have to see the interviews because we're going to be talking specifically about those. Um, Marshawn 3D. Um, as far as companies go, we saw so many ads. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, actually... There's probably a, hu a huge ad on Marshawn 3D. Oh, well, yeah, they're really... Because their ads were all over the place. Yeah, it's just, they're... Okay, they're uh, a oh. thing about 3D. Oh, here's one right here. Yeah, no, but they're... Uh, well, a deal about 3D is that while the major companies are basically backing out of it, the smaller companies are fully committed because China is doing 3D, folks. Yeah. They're doing Ma 3D in a big scale. committed. Now, on these eyewear, here's... Most companies have like one or two glasses. Yep. Marshawn 3D, they are licensed for the real 3D technology. Yep. So we're talking not just like one pair, we're talking like 25 different styles of yep. glasses for 3D that you can wear as sunglasses. Well, not all of them, I, I'm not quite certain. You can wear them as sunglasses or you can wear them as regular eyewear. Yep. And then they also are doing prescription and then they're also doing clip-ons. Yeah. Now, of course, none of these are available right now. We're yep. talking about March time frame. Um, but it's, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, who, who would have thought you would have had that much selection? And the other part that you're going to really like is the glasses are not like $150. <laughs>
No. <laughs> Although they do have some pairs that can be get up there and are more expensive. Um, the clip-ons, I think, are like in the $30 time frame. But they have some 3D glasses, not prescription. I'm not, and you know, with a, a lot of styles, we're talking the thirty dollar um, price range. Yeah, which basically I mean, is is more realistic. Yeah, and that, so that's very very realistic. So we've got an interview there too. Um, through Sennheiser, I'm okay. Oh, Victrinox, Victrinox, you know your Swiss Army knife. Yeah. I always love to see what these guys come out. Think with. Michael Weatherly of <laughs> NCIS as Daddy. And think that Michael Weatherly is playing the rich kid? Well, yeah, he's playing tight. He's, he's playing himself. Mm -hmm. Victor Knox is, it's like, the guys, unfortunately, the guys I normally talk to were not there. Although one of the guys I interviewed last year was there. So, you know, and then the, the lady that was helping them um, remembered me. Because, they, they, you know, it's like... Well, it's, it's got to do with placement, too. They were a god-awful bad oh. place. They were up for they were, their, towards the front. They were way in the back. They were at the, the back, back uh, uh, by the wall at on um, South Hall, way at the back. That I mean, is, it's just the it's placement you want. They got you know the foot traffic they got was people going along the wall trying to escape people getting out. So I know. You know what they told me is next year we're going to be further up more towards the middle. <laughs> That's yeah. What they told me. Well, because those halls are really long. They are. I mean, it, I mean, I may have done something in 26 minutes, but you can't walk those buildings in 26 minutes. It takes 20 minutes to walk from um, from South Hall over to North Hall. So. Yeah, and South Hall is a really long hall. Yeah. Central Hall is a long hall too. I mean, yeah, it they takes, go way to the back. I mean, like South, Central Hall, it takes you what 10 to 15 minutes to walk the hall, not inside where all the booths are, in the aisle where you're able to walk fast. That's right. And that's, okay, that's, <laughs> that's just so you can get to the booths. A lot like Sony is clean in the back of Central. It is, it, always. It, it takes it takes a long time to walk it. Um, so we interviewed them. They showed this the new the new Swiss Army knives. Yeah. Which have USB flash drives. We're not talking little ones. We're talking 32 Two. gigabyte I flash know. drives. I know. Uh -huh. That yeah. right at a faster speed than SD cards. So we're going to be experimenting. We're see. going to see if we can hook our camera to one of those drive units and and record over on it. I know. It's, like, it's something like 256 um, megabytes it's, per it's second. It's faster than. It's what really we fast. Yes, yeah, faster than our chips. So. I was very. I mean, because I think what are those? We're at class 10, and I think they're at like 20 megabytes per second. Or yeah, megabytes. it flies. And, I mean, eight times faster, yeah. nine times faster. If we can do that, we'll get a better quality picture for everybody. Yeah, so that's really exciting. So we're going to be playing with that. Um, as far as, let's see, you say goodbye to friends, see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you, you know, you had a chance to walk through. Now, see, part of this, I walked by. I unfortunately did not have the opportunity to stand there. Um, Sony, we were there for the press conference, but Samsung, we breezed through. But to stand there and look at all of the different things. Oh yeah, we I just well, we're going to talk to people in another piece about 3D glasses mm -hmm. and television sets because uh -huh. <coughs> because I I was doing the walkthrough. I'd actually I put the Gunner glasses on. and I discovered something very important when I put those glasses on and all the 3D exhibits, which people are going to find out very quickly. Ooh, well, okay, just wait until you listen to us talk about. Well, let's put it this way. <laughs> That's what we found out. You know, you, you can make a guess. You know, uh, 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 you know, it's just a sort of a really teaser about <sighs> what we found out about the uh, the active shutter glasses. See, here, here's part of it: is people think if you buy this TV and it's matched with these glasses, okay, now that is optimum setting. Yeah. Okay, optimum. That's kind of like to see the picture optimally. You walk, it, watch it when it's a little bit darker. Right? Yeah. You don't have a, light, a lot of light coming in. You sit there and watch the TV. You're optimum distance away from it. So, and you have, like, the system paired, like a Sony TV, Sony Blu-ray player, right? Yep. Yeah. And you use the cables they want. So we're talking about optimum conditions. But what you can do is you can see it. It's, it's basically like a less than optimum a less conditions. Optimum, you squint a little bit and you put yourself in the right position. Like you're watching a bad 3D movie in a theater. Mm -hmm. uh, because I... I you know, I, I got several times they told me I couldn't stand at the exhibit with those glasses on. Oh, are you serious? They did? Yeah, they didn't okay. want me because I got a press thing on and I'm sitting there with their glasses and my glasses and they told me to go away. So. <laughs> well, you know, part of it is we're not hiding what we're doing. They can tell obviously what we're doing. Yeah. Well, at first, you know, the Gooners look like the regular glasses. Mm -hmm. Expensive glasses, which they are expensive glasses. So I'd go up there and then I'd go to the, one of the things 
And then they'd give me their glasses, and they said, oh, I got glasses. And they said, no, you don't. And they said, yes, I got glasses. And I show it to one of the people. Oh, you can see our, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. They said, because it's polarized glasses, and you're using a polarized thing, no matter what you're calling it. So, so, so. courtesy of Gunnar and Marshall on 3D, we're going we're to be watching some 3D glasses with their 3D glasses and trying to... We actually, we got, we got we're going some, to the theater. We got we're going to bring out all the different We've got some glasses. passes to see some 3D movies, and we're going to wear our glasses <laughs> at the 3D movies and see what... And we'll like. take some notes, and we're going to take a variety of different 3D glasses and take a look. Yeah, because we've got two different companies. Mm -hmm. And actually, we got three different companies, or four different companies, or five. Different There's quite a, quite a few different ones, so we're going to go have fun with that. So you'll get to see. But meanwhile, oh, the last day of CES. You know, it's like it, it just gets to the point. You know, you're sitting there going, "Who else do I have to see? Who else do I have to see?" And then you're like, "You know what? I can just look that up on the internet." We never got to one single one of the conferences again. We've been there. This is five years we've never attended a conference yet, and press have the well, ability you know to what? go in. We can go to any of the conferences. Actually, in the first couple of years, we did attend more conferences, and we did go through keynotes. Yeah. Um, one, of the, one of the keynotes, let's see. We learned not to do that again. Rupert Murdoch sat in back of me. Yeah. I mean, the, literally, and not the, like in the... In the road behind me. No, yeah, but his. Oh. Uh, we were talking. The head of the Disney company was there with him, and it was amazing yeah. how friendly that Murdoch and uh, yeah, that Twentieth really and friendly. Disney were talking business behind us, and yeah. we even shot pictures of Murdoch and uh, and gentlemen together for them with their camera. Yeah, um, so Murdoch was there, and then I remember the time Bill Gates spoke, and I almost got trampled. Yeah. <laughs> Because this was the last time they expected Bill Gates to speak at CES, and so everybody wanted to go. Only oh, like three or four thousand people. Mm -hmm. So we we learned not to do that anymore, though. Well, and we found out, you know, we we had four of our press conferences axed out on us because of the fact that there oh, were too many. Yeah, when we say axed out, they continued the press conference, but they were closed to additional people by the fire marshal. And the rooms weren't full. Which they were unhappy about. Yeah, they were really unhappy. It was to clear out the hall, uh, hallways is what it was. What happens is, as we've discovered, a lot of people that aren't really press go to those press conferences. The dealers, mm -hmm. uh, half the people in some of these conferences are dealers. Well, what happens is, as the day progresses, actually starting with the Intel one at 11 o'clock, um, there was a lot more people there than... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, you've got things like a block long lines. Yeah, the first press conference we had, what was LG? Yeah. I mean, that was a full press conference and everybody was there, but. Yeah, but see, we had was... pre registered for conferences we didn't get into, yeah. which didn't make us happy because the RSVP and only the people that RSVP are supposed to be in, we couldn't even get close to the doors. We, we did that for NVIDIA two years ago and then I was told by one of the people, we were invited by the head of the, we went to the CEA and he invited us to come by mm -hmm. and he, they made, they apologized later but they said half the people in the area were dealers mm -hmm. and, and so they basically kept in a smaller room this time because uh, that was a disaster that one, this one, this one is sharp or just as bad because they, yeah. you couldn't get into them. Well as it was, you, it was hard to get a spot to to sit down in the press room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's well, crazy. No, no. I mean, CES, I mean, it is crazy. And I, if you were watching any of the coverage from CES, I mean, I talked to people and they're like, yeah, we've been watching it all week on TV. They said, there's a lot of people there. Uh huh. Yeah, there was a. Uh, we are in the middle of it. Uh huh. Yeah, but there's, we know, we don't think there was as many buyers there as they would have liked. There are yeah. a lot of, uh, there were, okay, here's the way it worked there was a lot of Indians and not a lot of chiefs. Yeah. What you want is a lot of chiefs and no Indians. Actually, we saw quite a few chiefs walking around the last day um, of the show. Yeah. Just walking around, but, taking a uh, look at everything. But we, we were staying at a really nice place where a lot of the people stayed. And there, there was not one person that I talked to, you know, going to their cars and stuff, riding the elevators, that were buying anything, though. Oh, really? They weren't buying because they don't have the money. Oh, and in the immortal words of one of the gentlemen, said that your president may say everything is all right, but in my country we don't have any, we don't have jobs, we don't have money, we can't buy anything. Mm. So that was his answer. Yeah. And of course, he was from Japan. Oh, he was? <laughs> yeah. Oh. We don't, they don't have Actually, money. Actually, I saw more, I think I saw more international people this year than we typically yeah, have seen. Yeah, a lot of international. That's why they redubbed the convention center, the international market. Now. Oh, World Trade Center. World Trade Center, yeah. Yeah. 
And it is the International Consumer Electronics Show. Yeah, with a lot of people with the international things on. So a lot of people walking around with uh, tra with uh, earphones on with things to tell them what's going on. So. Ah, see, you never know what you're going to find. But, you know, we, you know, we, it, it doesn't make any difference no matter how much time you spend. You always feel like, and part of it is there's so much to see there, right? You always feel like... When you know you leave, like, oh, I wish I could have done this and this and this and this and this. Not enough time. Know. Yeah, there isn't. I, I just we wonder. Learned, okay, you know. the one person that goes can't. I mean, they're 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 amazed that they can't that that they uh, the fact that they they can't get anything done. One person cannot get things done. It's impossible. So I mean, the the, the publications people with their uh, iPads and their their streaks and their mm -hmm. other things, they're basically. They're they're doing nothing but writing, mm -hmm. which they're not actually interviewing people. They're just listening into what other people yep. are saying. So they hang around where an interview is being done, and basically borrow that interview. Mm -hmm. But they just don't have the time to do things. And they don't. And, and a lot of it is they read the press material beforehand. They write a partial story, right, and yeah. then just fill some stuff in, and then they can publish it really fast. Yeah, and then they're gone. Oh, people do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we should. It, 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 it's just the same. It's, it, you know, it's like rip and read. Mm -hmm. So but that, there's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of interviews and video footage to share with you, and we do have some wrap-ups. Um, actually, specific wrap-ups that we're doing, especially on 3D. A lot of stuff on 3D because we are. I think we checked out about every single company that had anything. Well, on I 3D went through either. everything. I mean, I talked to people, but we'll, we'll give you a little tip about 3D from a gentleman. I can make any camera that you have a 3D camera. It's a software thing, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. Software. So it sort of negates the companies and their double lens cameras. He said, I can also give you a 20 to 1 zoom. If you got a 21, 20 to 1 really? zoom, I just re I rejigger the software and you got a 3D camera with 21 zoom. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, now, of course, if he does that, it's he, he comes with a big price tag, I'm certain. Yeah. <laughs> but he's the one that the companies hire to make the thing. He, do he it. hires it, he comes to fix. Problem because it's spending. It can't. Uh, most companies can't spend two years in the back room processing the videos. Mm -hmm. And also, it means if you've bought a camera, that you might check for firmware updates because yeah. your camera might be able to do more than you than it initially could out of the box. Yeah, and some of the software you get now has capabilities of turning 2D into 3D in the upgrades. Ooh. So, because they're the the major distributors of televisions may have backed off of it, but they, this time, the, as as they said, as Peter Gruber said, the genie is out of the bottle, and the bottle has been broken, and there it's going to happen whether people want it to happen or not. It's happening because there's too big of a commitment this time. They don't have the money to lose. Mm -hmm. So. So you're going to see more of it. But meanwhile, check out all of our coverage from CES, the interviews and things like that. Feel free to email us regarding any questions or put comments because we do pay attention to that. But anyway, this is the video for the last day of the Consumer Electronics Show.